E aí, gente? I was thinking about doing dry aging. So, for people who don't know, dry aging is um, letting the meat sit out in a controlled temperature, humidity, um, and time to dry out the meat, make it more concentrated. The, the flavor of the meat is different, and so, the idea of it you just let it completely dry you, you cut off the outside layers of it and then the meat should taste a lot more funkier more um blue cheese like it, it would have been very hard to do so um recently i saw a video where they kind of did like a fox dry aging procedure where they would marinate the meat for three days in fish sauce it would mimic the flavor of dry aging uh i was kind of like come on really no, i mean what what how could that that doesn't make any sense to me so um i've used fish sauce in many other many different kinds of recipes and in other other ways but i've never used it in this i guess quick dry aging procedure so uh, we're gonna try that out first. Um, I picked up a here in Brazil. It's called contrafile, which is the bottom part of the tenderloin. It's not really the ten it's more of a strip strip loin. Imagine the the t-bone. It's the the bigger part. It's kind of the opposite side of the tenderloin, which is under. So it's the, the I guess the New York cut, but it's in between. So so we have that, and we're also trying uh, a picanha because uh, that's what I really originally wanted to do was to dry age picanha to see how that would turn out because we're in Brazil, right? So yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm going to um, sous vide it and then we're gonna hit it off with a, my searsol. I have a torch um, head that will dorar the kogi. I'm sorry, dorar the meat. And so we're gonna check how this dry aging process is gonna work. I'm kind of skeptical on this um, this procedure, but um, according to a lot of things that I've read and researched now, like people are like saying, if you can't dry age at home, you can really try this. And so I have some fish sauce and we're gonna do that with some meat. I've already started the procedure three days ago, actually, to be honest, four days ago, um, and I'm letting it sit in the fridge. Um, tonight we're gonna take them out of the fridge and then we're gonna put them into a sous vide um, for about two hours, two and a half hours. Um, and we're gonna sear them off and see if there is any any difference in flavor. So what I put in the, the sous vide bag already or let it marinate is a fish sauce. It's about 3% uh, fish sauce to meat ratio. And I did add a little bit of rock salt um, because we're in Brazil and rock salt is the only way to go. Brazil. I know that some Brazilians might be like, you're not supposed to put anything else, but uh, we're trying this new method and hopefully, I really hope because I don't want to waste a good piece of picanha and a nice piece of uh, contrafile. And uh, we're gonna go sous vide this thing up and see um, how it turned out. So uh, vamos la amigos. And now we wait. Okay, so the meat is done. It smells good. It doesn't smell fishy at all, so that's kind of a good good sign. This is how it kind of looks like right now. Here's the picanha. We're gonna sear this off and then we're gonna see how, oof, looks good though. So I'm gonna pat this dry and then we're gonna sear it up. As you can see, the sous vide does a really good job with the picanha. Ooh, it's fogging on my lens. Here's the contrafile. Looks really good, actually. First, let's try the contrafile. Mm. 
Okay, there's, there's funk. Mm. It has a dry aged kind of flavor. Oh wow, that's really good actually. Let's try the, let's try the uh, picanha. I think that's the real test. Ooh, we gotta get it with a nice piece of fat right there too. All right, so check that out right there. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, snap. There it is. Yeah. Okay. It's not completely like dry aged, but I have to admit, there's good flavor. Wow. Okay. Snap. Okay. So the three hour or the three day, the three day fish sauce, um, I think it works. I think it's something that if you are in the need, like for instance, I don't have a dry aged refrigerator or anything like that. So if you're looking just for that, to scratch that itch, this is what you gotta do. Wow, that, I gotta try another piece. <laughs> That's it. Oh wow. Guys, this is worth it. I know a lot of people, Brazilian people would be upset because I added fish sauce to picanha, it should just be salt, but if you're looking, wow. It's like, it's on that back, that back note of like funkiness, mmm. Whew, it's delicious, it's good. Well, I'm gonna go eat now. If you guys have anything that you guys want me to try, or tips or things that you want uh, me to experience here in Brazil, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll check you out on the next Cali Gringo. Ciao, amigos. Mmm, time to eat.